the slide was over there and uh, I can remember the swings were near the top and it was all just like, it was really, it was a really big space but it just all wasn't used. I used to play up here as a child when I was like 13, 14 and that park's always been like that. And the biggest thing what people wanted was a play park. Their thing was that it was too far to go to another play park from here and have the kids looked after safely. For two years, right, we lived, slept, breathed. Everybody loved the idea of having a park here. The park's really good. It's brought the community together. Um, there's children that go there before school. I take my children after school. They absolutely love it. It's somewhere now where they can play. Before, it wasn't a park. It's just really good how they've changed it this much and put loads of different and new things in it. Local people said it's going to look good. So the kids designed it. This is what these see as a Wizard of Oz and they did it. Big local went into school one day and talked to all the children at Barracliffe School and they, design and they also designed it. So they feel like that's their path. They've helped design that, which I think is really good as well. The fact that it's been, a lot of it's been developed and ideas have been taken from the young people and children, then that's the best way to develop a playground and recreational area. Because the worst thing is that adults design it and it doesn't fit in at all with what young people and children want. It was really old and people used to like do graffiti around on the things, what you used to play on. Everybody said it'd be ruined in three days. You get people going, oh, that park won't be like that in a few months, and it is. Because you gave the kids the opportunity and them kids respect that. This now has a path through the middle. It's the, it's the Wizard of Oz, you know what I mean? The Tin Man, the, everything else, what's going. After school, oh, there must be about 50, 50 to 70 children on that park, which it's so good to see. You were laughing, it's just really nice. But I also want people like the Scout Group to use it. I want people like, you know, the Mother's Union to use it. I want people who, who've got a purpose to come and use it, you know what I mean? So hopefully, this will start to bring people into the area and start to give people a reason to come into the area, you know, even if it's a car boot on a Sunday. We've got uh, the guys with the disabled cycles around there, who's had a grant from us. And we first got involved with the big local when we were trying to raise funds for getting adapted bikes to be able to use with people with disabilities. They want us to be able to get people involved, uh, getting out and about in the community, feeling part of the community, getting some exercise and having some fun, because that's a huge element of it, it's just having fun. This is our actual AGM. Right, this is, this is what we said we would do to engage with the community, to bring the community in to talk to us. We're asking people what they think of where the funding's gone so far and what they would like to see in the future. We've, we've got about eight years left of the programme, or possibly longer, uh, so we're asking what people want to see. It's Friday, so some people who are working will be at work, but this, we're trying to engage people who aren't working. We're trying to engage people to come along and get involved. When Big Local was there saying, oh, we can, we can make this park happen, they said, oh, we've heard it all before. But now that they see that it's actually happened, you know, there's a, there's a reason to get involved. If people want something to happen. They're not going to get it sat at home. They need to come out, which is why we do these opportunity days and fun days. So people can come and voice their opinion. And then if they want to, they can get involved. They don't have to. They could just come and say, we would like to see this happen or we don't want this happening. We asked a local resident, we asked Mrs Osborne to open it, right, she's 91. And we asked a great granddaughter, Millie, who was one, to open it with her. And on the sign down there, so this part was up by Ivor Osborne and a great granddaughter, Millie.